I think my swaps will probably look good in here. Now imagine a turbo kit. This is what real man hands look like when you work. But this one is very special to us. It's custom, so, right? It, this one's very custom. So thank you, K-Tune. Check this out. You guys ready? The K20R OEM Plus build. No, I was actually really surprised about that in the comments. Like everyone was talking about that's, that. That's because it's before your time. Like when they Those? used to mold the fenders to the yeah. bumpers, and they used to mold the plate, right? It needs to be crooked in the yeah. back. Drop in the comments how old you are. You old enough to be time to be alive. So hear me out. That's a big turbo. Go do you right guys want to see? Do you guys want to see a hood exit? No. Or do you guys want to see a full exhaust? Time shifts. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely, this car is really coming along. It looks like nothing got done. I'm only gonna lie to you, J Rock. Probably always is for the next. You know the funny part. The next three videos is gonna look the same. And then <laughs> one time is gonna start up, and that's it. <laughs> This car is probably gonna run before your car. Don't even disrespect me like that. Derek, what do you think? This Which car is gonna run before we even get a race. Wow, the disrespect going on here today. So today we are getting the engine harness in. I don't know, we're kind of just winging it, but I think the engine harness is gonna be completely in for right now. Jerak finished the coolant lines earlier, just finished this one line here with the fitting. He did his famous, famous Bluetooth, uh, headlights. Bluetooth headlights. So he ran the harness it's semi ran, right? Well, the headlights aren't in, so it's partial right now. Partial, so the f where'd you run the wires through? Underneath the fender? I can't tell you. Can't even see it. Okay, J Rock, check J Rock out. The, I think he ran it with the headlash cable. But trying to get most of the wiring on the car, we start putting the manifold on, throttle body, basically get the whole front end pretty much buttoned up. We're just gonna take it piece by piece at this point. You need to change. <laughs> That's a big turbo. Is that considered a hood exit? Hood exit? <laughs> no, because <laughs> how's it gonna drain? <laughs> we're gonna change the wastegate, we're gonna put a black one on there. Pretty much just taking it piece by piece. So I just wanted to get a few steps along the way. Engine harness, gonna get the intake manifold, throttle body. What are you doing for an exhaust? What exhaust? I like that. What exhaust? What exhaust? I already hey. got one that's we'll pretty fast, we'll baby. Just put like a little you forgot he got a nice one fabbed up that he even used for his car. Which go do you guys right want to see? Do you guys want to see a hood exit? No. Or do you guys want to see a full exhaust? No. What do you guys want to see? No. How about we just no what? I right. want a full exhaust. I you want no exhaust? You, right? I understand you probably don't want to cut the hood, right? So hear me out. We'll just take off the hood and just fab you up a little up pipe. No. I like the, I like the sound of right? because you don't have to cut the hood. Yeah. My so, guys on YouTube don't like the hood exit. I think they're with the shit. No, no. I, I feel they, like they, half of you guys want a hood exit. No, they, half of them, they gave, they gave me, shit. me shit for my car. Yeah. I agree. It's not a true street but, car, not exhaust. I, but the other half of you guys loved it, like me. It's made for a great video. It sounds great. I don't know if your car's gonna Just sound. Imagine nighttime shifts. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Who are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, We got your intro. <laughs> yo, J Rock, too funny, yo. He drives a fucking BMW now, so he likes the pops and the bangs. <laughs> you do, you got a verbal tune on your car. <laughs> Fuck that. Yo, too funny. So, you guys gotta give us the rundown on what's, what's next, what's, what's going down. We're at a stage where it's like, you kind of don't know. You just want to take it piece by piece. So We're at that stage where shit come, goes on and shit comes back off because you have to change something. We're, let me tell the people what's really going on. We're at that stage where this is Project OCD and you can't put the mill spec plate because it's got to get powder coated. We can't put the shift cable bracket because it's got to get powder coated. So everything gets held up. That's the reality of it. Can't do the wastegate lines because we got to put a black one. You can't do yeah, this can't because do everything needs to be nice. So Jarek can't put the engine harness. The engine harness is gonna stay like this. You got a mill spec. It's gonna go through the uh, it's gonna AC. Go, yeah, through the AC hole, but can't put it on until he powder coats all his stuff. Take his cowl off, and he's gonna put a carbon fiber cowl. It's just I'm gets, not gonna drive this car in the rain, so I don't think it'll give me shit. Oh, you have no wiper. Blade. That's exactly. Gonna, this is not gonna be a street car no more because there's no wipers. Rain I got a full exhaust though. Rainex. Got a full exhaust, baby. Rainex. Right. You're right. Ceramic, yeah, ceramic coat on the windshield. I'll give you um, one of those squeegees. <laughs> well, I'll give you guys a current state. We're finishing wiring. Yo, Jared, did you put the spark plugs on my car? Or? Yes, we did. We Let did put spark plugs in there today. And then the interior is still all ripped apart. So, oh, 
I like it. Tuck the fuse box. We got a conversion harness I see in there. But that's pretty much where we're at. This is gonna take weeks, like weeks. All wheel drive thing is fun, but it's not fun at the same time. I'm gonna introduce this car to the channel on the dyno. For you guys that don't know, it's K Series. My K Series all wheel drive hash had this car for a long, long time. I'm not gonna get into it, but I just wanna show you guys. I am gonna make a dyno video for this car and introduce this car complete. I have four blue hatchbacks, one all motor, one B series turbo front wheel drive, one B series all wheel drive, one K series all wheel drive. But we'll introduce all those cars in the channel later. But for the most part, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys didn't give them the news. ECI6? What do you mean? ECI6? You guys completely missed it. I didn't know if we were going to reveal it in this video. We could. Let's reveal it in this video. You already revealed it on Instagram. You have to reveal it on YouTube now. So let's go. This is the car you guys all been waiting for, too. ECI6, baby. So. <laughs> so. This one? No, 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 no. no I know you guys. So I know. the true story with this car is the guys are actually giving me this car. So nice, you guys. I really appreciate you. It greens your color today. It is. You see that? Should we tell them why I was here? I'll tell them why I was you here. Should tell them what almost happened. Let's let's tell them. Let's what tell them what happened almost first. happened. Why the car is really here? The car is really here because this was going to be ECI six. It was about to. It be, was. It was almost no. so disrespectful. You saved it. Huh? You saved Me? it. No, 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 no. It was gonna be a all-wheel drive car. Yeah. So originally it was gonna be ECI six, and then he was like, you know what? Scratch this build. Completely scratch it. This car is ready. I can pull all my parts in it. I don't need to do any type of work. I can just put the all-wheel drive kit and make this car his K series all-wheel drive car. Every single time we bring this car to the shop, we say we're gonna do something with it, and then after we see how clean it is. You don't want to touch it. You just don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just look. Yo, man, actually, this oil cap will look nice in your car. I ain't even gonna lie. This car is just too, too good. I just need to just... This car is beautiful. Hold on. Let's just... I think my swaps will probably look good in here. Now, imagine a turbo kit. Hood exit. Hood exit. Right. This car is too nice, though. That's what I'm saying. Every we, time we, we get, get this car back we to we the get shop... We get destroyed with all our drive. Every time we get this car back to the shop, we always say it's too clean. Look at the spoon wing. That carbon weave is different. I like it. But no, this is not ECI 6. We don't know what the plans with that car is yet. I'm gonna put it back at my house in the garage. But I'm gonna show you guys what ECI 6 is. So the K24 EM1 is going to New York. Uh, I haven't set a date yet to drop it off with him. But I'll introduce ECI 6 because a lot of you guys want this car and wanted a lot of people have been asking me to sell it and i'm not going to sell it so in the meantime someone can win it <sighs> eci6 right here we shouldn't technically i still own this car right so i can back out which one out of this car this this is the only white car you could back out of what's that I supposed to mean backing out of no other white cars that we had i don't even know what that means I'm gonna spread them cheeks, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> ECI 6 right here. The K20R OEM Plus build is gonna be up. Like the EM1, I think what, two weeks? Two and a half weeks? Yeah. Pretty much, I think we're gonna drop it. We don't have a uh, set date yet when it's going up, but I, I wanna say within two to three weeks, we're just gonna get a photo shoot done. We just got the car fully detailed, but this is ECI 6, so we are going to give this car away to somebody. Same setup how we did on this car, same thing we're going to do to this car. Obviously a different caliber of car. Too good. Too, too good. Too good. I don't know if I'd build another one though. Well, like I would, I think it, would be it just so much time. Like this car took a lot longer to build, believe it or not, than this car. In the engine bay. It did. Like a lot. Like, look at the attention to detail here. I don't know if you guys uh, already watched our previous videos. Those of you guys that are new, you guys can go back and watch the playlist on this car. This got to be my favorite part right here. I don't know how I might found that. Oh, that? Oh, it's like tapered? It looks good. It does. This AC, power steering, cruise control. Look how that valve cover is brand new. You see the interior after it got detailed? It cleaned up really good. That thing looks so good. 
I want to show you guys the carpet. Let me turn the light on. Yo, go look in there. That thing is you clean. Tell, you can tell a car, like, these hatchbacks, you know how you can tell these cars are clean? The bolster on the seat. Oh, the seat bolster? Let me yeah. see it. Looks brand new. It's not all clapped out. So, this is ECI 6. I want to introduce it to you guys because he already posted it on Instagram. I don't know when this video is going to drop, but oh, this car won't be live until I'll make a post in the community of when we are, when the dates for that car will be. Stay tuned. ECI 6 is going to be crazy. You can enter the win on the eastcoastimport.com. Make sure to follow East Coast Imports on Instagram and Facebook. Or if you just follow my Instagram or any of our Instagrams, we'll, we'll all post up details. But that's the rundown of this, of the all-wheel drive. So hood exit? No? Yeah, drop in the comments hood exit or full exhaust. I want to see what you guys say. I know half of you guys are going to say hood exit, and then the other half are going to say full exhaust. No, full exhaust. Yo, uh, Kev, hood exit, full exhaust? Full exhaust. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it's 2 2 here. My brother and Kev want full exhaust. Me and JRX say hood exit. Yo, are you a gambler, man? You only say that because. Oh, did you hear him? I already have exhaust stopped up for this car. Are you, you a gambler, man? No. What are you gonna say? Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Okay. But no. it's gotta be done. Okay. No. Because no. you're gonna do some, some <laughs> dumb shit like dynamite or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's the current update as of right now. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get every single process of this build and right up until the dyno. And then we'll get the dyno footage and then me busting his ass. I'll see you guys later. You guys look stressed out. Tell YouTube what's going on. We haven't figured it out yet. You haven't figured it out. No. Just give them an idea. This thing looks good. For one, I just opened the box for the intercooler. I think this is not a thousand horsepower intercooler. It's like an 800. You sound one. upset. Yeah, that part. And then. So check out how small the core is. He just opened the box. I think he. I think you mistakenly ordered the wrong intercooler. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. Tell me what happened. He wasn't supposed to make a thousand. Exactly. Initially it was supposed to make seven. He's like, oh, I'm gonna make like a 700, you know, somewhere around there. So he starts ordering his parts, right? He thinks he This had. is where 700 started. And then now we got to a Gato with a Ross 90. Now we're at a thousand. So now we got to go back to the front of the car and put on like an eight inch forward facing. And mind you, right? He's keeping the stock front bumper and how did that work out for you? It didn't work out too good for me. I couldn't even, my bumper, <laughs> my bumper is still over here. So you can't fit a thousand, you can maybe without the you radiator. Can, not with the tuck radiator. Yeah, not with the tuck radiator. You, it's so, the, the core is so thick that you can't fit the front bumper. You how's can. That, how's that saying go? You can't have your cake and eat it too or something like that? Something like that. Something along those lines. I mean, we could always do a three piece front, but street car, right? No, no bumper, no. hood exit. <laughs> <laughs> <No>? <laughs> Yo, so I mean, at least we got one thing done. Shifter cables are on, but the turbo came back off. Uh, he got a Gato billet, four injector manifold. Is fire. It is. Let me see if I can get an up top view. The view looks good, but you definitely, this would definitely, I don't, it might make the power, it might not. I don't know. But just look at this, right? So imagine running intercooler pipe. How tight would that be? I don't know if you even, you'll and be able to make you, that bend. And mind you, remember if I had the stock fucking water plate up here. The stock water pump? Yeah, the stock water pump setup would have been This is more. close though. Look how, pick the manifold up a little bit. It's, it's like a, that's like a cut here. It's, it's tight. Well, we don't have a gasket on yet, so we're. It's tight. We're buying some space, don't worry. We got like at least. Yeah, that's tight. And, and then that fan, if you do keep that intercooler radius uh, combo, you're gonna have to take that fan out. I'm gonna have to flip this to the other side too. These are one of the many issues that happen. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna go down. I had a fuel cell. I had oh, a fuel yeah. cell that we mounted today. So tell him about the cell. I don't like it. OCD over here. He wants to be like me, right? No, your cars at least they go together once. This car has already been built twice. <laughs> That's how it is. So he's planning to do the same cell I got in my car where we put it in the spare tire hole. He had one of those two cells. It was like one on each side and then they connect together. That's what we originally had for this car, but. It's not gonna work with the full exhaust, so. It would, but it's gonna be super tight. I, gotta, and I, don't want I got a problem solving for that. Hood exit. Yeah. Bro, hood exit will solve all your problems. Hood exit. I think about it.
Yeah, think about it. Hood, I think we should do. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds amazing when it's a hood exit, but right, think about so how much not, less of a headache. Let's not put out the hood. No. Let's you put know it why, out you know why you know why people go that route? Why? Because it's the easiest route. No, 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 yeah, no. Jr, come here. Easy, no, no, no. It's not easy. easy. This was not easy. Imagine that right there. Like, come on, huh. take a look at this. Imagine this right here on that car. Come on. I'm not cutting the fender on my car. This is nice and th this is clean. <laughs> That's clean. I like that. Fender exit? Yo, think about the flames. All right, all right, all right. I got one for you. Can we do some side pipes? <laughs> <laughs> Under the car. What do they call those? Can candles or something? Like V8s? <laughs> no, those no, are the bottom. Yeah, your age, your age is showing, because I know you used to do that back in the day. Let me, let me guess, you want to paint my fucking door panels. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was actually really surprised about that in the comments. Like everyone was talking about that's, that. That's because it's before your time. That There's was a lot of old. It makes, me, it makes me wonder how, how old are you guys that are watching the videos too. Drop in the comments how old you are because a lot of you guys left comments. Like you got everyone knew what he was talking about, and I felt super. Like, I yeah, felt like honestly, I, I didn't even know what they were talking about. At the time, like when they used to mold the fenders to the yeah, bumpers. Yeah, that was when like body kits were. Around. I think we were like almost like eight or nine years old at the time. Yeah. That, yo. You old enough to be time to be alive. <laughs> that was like the greatest times. I ain't even alive. Oh, and they used to mold the plate, right? It used to be crooked in the yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, you old enough. You old enough to be my dad. <laughs> I ain't your dad. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. So I don't know what's going down here. We need to come up with a game plan in order to like can't start drilling holes. You can't start. We just need to come up with something because he needs to make a thousand horsepower, and the intercooler needs to work for the setup and to be cool the whole time. He definitely needs a bigger intercooler. I don't know what he's gonna do with the radiator. Maybe put the radiator in the back. Should we sell him on uh, water to air? He's not. He's no, not. He's not beyond a thousand. He's more. gonna need that to beat me though. There's a little ice box in the back. We're crying about working on that car. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of working on this one too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you guys back with an update. Whatever we come up with. What's up, everybody? So we finally got some things done on the car today. Finally, we're finally gonna give you guys an update because we always said we're gonna take you with the uh, the steps of the car. So uh, we went ahead and put on the alternator belt and adjusted it and tightened it. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. So quick commercial break, not really commercial, but I wanna give a huge shout out to K-Tune, huge shout out to Sean at K-Tune. This by far, I think is the greatest thing you guys have ever done. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I think this is the best uh, dipstick in the entire universe. So K-Tuned reached out, my boy Sean, they have a brand new. There's a part number. K-Tuned has a brand new magnetic dipstick, magnetic as in like this, it goes back. What's the best part about this? Uh, I like how basically, if you guys have one of these dipsticks before, they're kind of hard to grab. So I like that they give you a little handle to kind of pull up. But this one is very special to us. It's custom, right? It, this one's very custom. So thank you, K-Tune. Um, check this out. You guys ready? Booyah. Glizzy what? God. <laughs> <laughs> hold this on, hold on. One more time, one more time. One more time. Bang. Well, this is supposed to sit flush here. We need to take the valve cover back off. Check my guys out, huh? So does that mean, does that mean they passed the crown to my brother. No, I think he's just grandfathered in because he's your brother. So now you guys are like the glizzy bros. The glizzy bros. Yeah. I got a question for you though. What up? Do you just want to take a bite of this? <laughs> 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 what do you call it? The glizzy bros? Uh, uh, what else can you? What else could you call that? I'm gonna have to put some thought into it. I don't know if it's something good. <laughs> Drop that's in funny because they knew it was for him. <laughs> yeah. Now he's he's screwed too. Now. Drop in the comments. What do you think uh, we should be? I'm gonna call my brother the Glizzy Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his, his boots kind of locked him in for that, so now he's hurt. Go, J Rock. So before I close this video, all right? It's been what like five days. The car looks the exact same. Didn't I call it? For the past two days, like literally. And that's probably because I haven't even touched it in the past two days because we got so much other stuff going on. But I, I think, um, oh, me and Ahmed shot a video yesterday. Did you? Yeah, for an update. You'll see it when you edit it. Oh, did you guys? All right. Yeah, yes. well, what's, what is the update? Um, the dipstick, the glizzy dipstick. That's the only update on the car, huh? I feel like we're getting like at least one part a day installed. Looking promising, but it's not. Promising without a, a release date. We're gonna right. be here for a while. 2024, we're coming hard. 
Can Pause. you <laughs> can you show them how picky like just things are around here, right? All right, so all right. For instance, we got the street car here, freshening up after Vegas, powder coating because we did a lot of fab work, kind of rushed it, so we didn't have time to powder coat everything. So when the car came back, we could blow it apart and powder coat everything. So for instance, we waited. Was it two weeks? Two weeks, maybe even longer. Two weeks for this, for this, and like the up pipe over here. We did the up pipe, the dump tube. Um, this came out pretty good, actually. Yeah, look at got the quarter there from Mike. <laughs> yeah, Mike put a quarter. So, for instance, we got this today. We're excited, right? Cars gonna be back together. Got it all on, and then I don't know if you guys can see. Doesn't even match. It's like, a shitty wrinkle, right? This is there. like this is a shitty wrinkle. Yeah, it's a crappy wrinkle, and the color looks grayish. It's not really black. So, back off the powder coat. That's how that's how things that's basically just giving you an idea, but that's how things are rolling in right here right now for us. Yeah. And then on a Mets car, you guys see the dipstick wasn't all the way in, and I think it's from when they powder coated it. So I had to pull the valve car back off, clean out the little hole the dipstick goes in, and then put it back on. One step forward, ten steps back. The car will be in this state, I wanna say for another couple of weeks. Between the things he's changing, changing his fuel cell, and now the intercooler combo needs to get fabbed up. It's just gonna be, uh, it's gonna look like not much is being done for the next couple of weeks, but. It's gonna look like this for a long time. And then, boom, it's gonna be running. That's it. See you guys later. They know it's my car. They know it was your car. I'm not the glizzy guy. You are the glizzy guy now. Yeah. Can you test fit that dipstick? Okay, get you get you putting it on because they want updates on the car and wanna see things get done. This is today's update? Yeah. Remember we gave him an update yesterday, we didn't give him an update today. Oh, you can't, get can't, it can't get it in? How's that gonna fit? Alright guys, uh, end of the day today. See you guys on the next one. Hey yo, come pull it out. Come pull it back out, make oh, sure shit works. Are you happy with the fit, man? Did you even notice that I fixed it for you? Alright, I'll pull the valve back off, please. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I like this. You know why? If any of you guys have the old K2 style, it's kind of a pain in the ass to fucking pull up sometimes. Sometimes you have to use a screwdriver or whatever, but easy. One flip, and boom, it comes right up. You need some lotion. Look at the side of You need some lotion on that. This is what real man hands look like when you work. Oh, Show me your hands. Your hands, your hands probably look like female hands. Yo, let's see the camera hands. It's, uh, <laughs> it's time to end this video. Oh, guys, this is Sonic's desk, right? And what do you have? You got lotion. Lit roller, fucking snacks. So we're in the office right now. What do you think we should do? We should do a desk check, right? Yeah. We, we don't call that when I, they go in jail. What do they call that when they uh, search their, their cells? I don't, I don't know. even know what it's called. I wish to open our first one though. We don't even do desk checks here. I'm kind of scared to even. That, this is not my desk. This is J Rock's desk. <laughs> Bro, he has lotion. He has a fucking yeah. rate. Yo, you shave at work, bro? I mean, I fucking. Uh, He's I mean, got deodorant. He's got nail polish. He's got a fucking what the fuck a hair clip. No. <laughs> fucking nail clippers. I did not put those in there, bro. Yeah, what well, you got, mite on? <laughs> you got mite on there too. I have a period, so <laughs> I got <laughs> essential healing. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me just show you guys that I'm the only one that works here. I got gloves on. You stole my gloves. <laughs> Where are you stole them? I got. <laughs> I don't even fit. I was, I was the only one. <laughs>